What the heck happened to my truck? Oh, you know it's got to be bad when I'm at Walmart in the middle of the night and I got damaged in my truck. It's a long story. Sit back. You're going to want to hear this. This is one story that turns into another story and turns into another story. So what was supposed to be a fun Saturday afternoon and evening up along Lake Superior turned into a little something different beginning with a traffic stop. Now, it's been a long time since I've been pulled over. And I was not thinking at all about being pulled over or anything other than getting off to the side of the, the road and making a safe zone for the officer so when he walked up to the side of my car he didn't feel threatened and uh, I did that for the most part uh, he asked me where I was headed oh uh, you probably want to know why I got stopped don't you now uh, you guys have been giving me problems long enough about this crack going up here and this crack going up here well let me tell you so that was the very first thing he said as I stopped you for the crack in your windshield asked me for my license insurance and uh, registration he got all of that he asked me where i was going and i told him calumet michigan oh what's up in calumet he asked i said well we're going along the shores of lake superior tonight to find those glowing rocks called ember lights the look on his face was priceless but he walked back to his car and within 30 seconds he came back handed me my license registration insurance told me have a good night drive safe before he left I showed him pictures of ember lights and I showed him the lights we used so he didn't think we were absolutely crazy or nothing but so that was the beginning of our journey to the Keweenaw Saturday here's a little uh, selfie that I took so I really didn't think nothing about it I mean we went to Lake Superior with uh, a friend of mine Ross I had my friend Neil and, and Ken with us Ross even brought his dad to uh, find ember lights for the very first time and we really did we had a very good night a fun night until it started raining and then it was time to go and uh well here check out some shots that i took along the lakeshore before it did get dark so right here you can see uh ross is uh right along the lakeshore there sun is going down very beautiful shot and uh this is a river right here that runs out into Lake Superior. Normally we try to get across it, but we just weren't able to. So here you'll see some ember lights that I did find. Aren't they pretty cool? I took these on my cell phone, so they're not as good as this camera, but you should see them nonetheless. Then after it started raining, time to go back to the car. Went back to the car, I, I changed my clothes. I actually shut the door and I took my pants off because I didn't want the people seeing who had just pulled up. Uh, what I was doing they walked off and between the time of me going in the back of the truck and finalizing things and getting things started another car had pulled up my fault my bad for not paying attention to see exactly where they parked but in my opinion it was their fault more than it was mine I mean when you pull up into a parking lot especially a county park you should park where normal people park not dead center in a dark parking lot that has no lights it's been raining and it's hard to see anyway i i honestly did not see him when i backed up i i could i my bad again my bad but i honestly did not see him back up so let me hear so i'll show you a a, a map here of uh of the mouth of the grass it basically your parking lot comes in and they just did a lot of changes out there. They just built a bathroom facility out there, a men's and, and women's bathroom. And in front of the bathroom, they put a concrete pad out front. Now, right here where the dotted lines are, that is disability parking. There are two spots right here for disability parking. These lines right here is where people normally park when they come out. Um, these rocks are barrier right here to keep the ATVs off the beach. People pull right up to the rocks and they park. I was actually parked right over here in front of the bolt ramp. There's a little bolt ramp. They don't use it very much. But I was parked right there. And my intention was to back up and pull out. There's the road. So when I backed up, I smacked their car. They were parked. Had If somebody was either parked in disability or wanted to use the disability parking, they could not have gotten there because of where they had parked. I mean, dead center. So, yeah, immediately after, you know... You got to do what you got to do. Stop, got out, looked at the damage, and 
Oh Lord, I had to sit there and wait for the Sheriff's Department to get there. So again, this lady parked dead center of his parking lot. Her husband and her came out to pick amber lights as well. And it's kind of funny because her husband was wearing pajama bottoms. That's literally how close they were to this beach, how close they lived to the beach. You know, just because you live this close to the beach and this is where you live, the area you do, it doesn't give you the right to act like you own this place and park dead center. I mean, there's no reason this person had to park dead center of this parking lot. I mean, I honestly feel it's just as much as her fault as it is mine for not looking all the way when I backed up. But I guess that's what insurance is for. That's what I pay for. That's what she paid insurance for. And I really don't know how no-fault insurance works in Michigan, but I guess I'm going to find out. Oh, anyway, don't know what's going to happen here. She wanted the police to come out. The officer said right away, I don't normally do police reports for damage under $1,000. To which the husband replied, oh, this is going to be over 1000 Look at the bumper. The bumper is stretched and this and... I, I, here, look at a picture of their car, of the little, the little bit of damage on their car. Check this out. Now, right here, you're looking at a picture of their car. You'll see the little bit of the reflector is broken off, and there's not really much other damage than that. Maybe a little bit of scratches on the bumper. I understand, but I, I don't see a thousand dollars worth of damage there. No. Now check out my car. This is, I, I heard the crunch because I, I hit them pretty hard. And uh, I broke out all the tail lights on my uh, trailblazer here, and uh, yeah, man, what a what a terrible night. So pretty much uh, got her taped up there best I could. I got to throw some more tape on here and cover that, but a little bum bumper damage, not too bad. I didn't really get on the side of them too much, but that was enough. You know, many, many years ago, I might have thought about just punching it and taking off out of there and ripping, ripping butt, you know, and leaving the scene and, and not worrying about this at all. But I, I, it wasn't even a thought that crossed my mind this time. I mean, you hit somebody, you crunch it in the middle of nowhere. There's nobody saw anything. There's no lights. You put it in park and you take responsibility for what you did. It's my bad. I mean, I, I backed into somebody that should have been parked where they were, but again I don't know exactly as to whose responsibility who would be at fault or uh, anything like that considering there were parking spots available and they chose to just park right in the middle of this dark wet parking lot so needless to say my journey wound up going to Walmart the most hated place in the world that I haven't been to in over a year I just posted on Facebook that it's been over a year since I've been at Walmart. Pat me on the back, you know what I'm saying? And, and sure enough, found myself having to go to Walmart in Houghton, Michigan, early in the morning to get that red tape to fix to fix the back of my truck so I could drive home without having to get pulled over or blinding the people behind me. But anywho. Somebody said they hope I got enough uh, rocks to pay for the damage that happened, and I don't really think it was about that, really. And I surely don't have a, that many rocks, so. No, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that uh, my wife's not gonna let me drive this thing anytime soon up there again, so. I thought I needed to put a little content out there. I haven't been doing a whole much, about nothing. Just bored, sitting around the house, been talking about maybe even getting a job Ooh, might have to now after this huh yeah so now you know now you know how I screwed up the back of my truck and wound up at Walmart all in one night thanks for watching this video everybody make sure you hit the share button because man I'm gonna need to make a little bit of money and revenue back on this video to pay for you know so if you could hit the share button that would be greatly appreciated Hit that like button or thumbs up. I it, Thumbs up is better. Thumbs down is okay. Whatever you want to do. Make a comment below. Whose fault is it? Is it my fault? Is it her fault? Is it both of our faults? It's Michigan no fault. So I don't know how that even works. Have you ever had a 
accident in Michigan. Do you know how that works? Now, just again, she wasn't in the car. It was myself and my two friends in the, in this car. None of them saw it either until we hit it. So, it is what it is. Anyway, have a great day, everybody, wherever you are in the world. And always take an extra look out the back window or out your mirrors or... Man, I've never hit anybody before. This is just, just crazy.